And like I mentioned before, you can download apps, programs from Safari. So because not all of them are in the App Store, but if you do want to download something from the App Store, this is how you do it. So just open up your App Store. And from here, we're just going to continue on. And I'm going to give you an example. So you can enable notifications or not with the App Store. What I would do is just not, I just get way too many notifications. And then from here, you're just going to search for the app that you want. So we're just going to search for Final Cut Pro, for example. And let's say I didn't buy Final Cut Pro yet. Then what I would see on that specific app would be a price. Obviously, it's not $2.99. This is just another app. But this is just to give you an example. Right now, since I bought this before, I'm going to see this. So all I have to do is just download it. And there we go. I'm downloading the very first app into this Mac. Now, if I want to download any other apps, such as, let's say, Compressor, I can just search up for it. Again, something I bought before. I'm going to go on and download it. I do want to mention that there's a bunch of free apps right here on your App Store. But as soon as the app gets downloaded, you're going to see this open. You can also find any apps that you may have downloaded in Finder. Once you open up Finder, you're going to see Applications. Click on that. And then you're going to see the apps here. So you can see Final Cut Pro is still downloading. However, Compressor fully downloaded, so it's right here. And that's how to find any apps that you have downloaded into your Mac and are fully installed. As soon as they download, they pretty much install by themselves. That's if you're downloading them from the App Store. However, if you're downloading them from Safari for a specific website, then that's a little bit different because it's going to give you a DMG file. Just click on it, just follow, just click next, 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 basically. And what usually happens during this process is that Whichever app you download, it's going to be added into your applications folder. It just moves it onto there and that's it. That's how you guys can do that. So that's how to download apps right here on your Mac. Other than that, that's it. I showed you all the basics that you need to know for your Mac just to get you started. If you want more specifics, I do have a ton of more videos with tutorials, but that would be it for this one. Go on and have fun with your Mac. If you have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.